we've just finished the East Highland Way, 90.76 miles from Fort William to Aviemore. Let me tell you about my journey. So I started at Fort William and I came up via the smelter and then continued up through quite a lot of forestry paths and I got to Spean Bridge. From Spean Bridge I walked on past the Inch Scout campsite and along the River Spean. I then came up past Monassi Farm. I climbed up the hill here and camped at a disused hut which used to be part of the Puggy Line which was a line that ran from there to Fort William and took water from Loch Lagan for use in the smelting and other works. I continued along and took a dip in An Dub Lochen which was really nice and cold. I then came up past the Lagan Dam. I continued right alongside the Moy Reservoir and then I camped just along here on the west side of Loch Lagan. It was absolutely freezing um, and snowing. In fact, it snowed every day I was, the, I was away. I walked the whole length of Loch Lagan, which would you believe it is over eight and a half miles. I took a small detour to Loch in the Erba to see where Monarch of the Glen was filmed. And then I continued through the Ardwerke estate and along past the River Patek, um, past Spey Dam and the Spey Reservoir, took a little break in Lagan, and then from there I headed up into the Dalna Shalag Bothy. This was definitely the most beautiful part of the trek. I stayed in the Bothy there. Um, there was two young guys. They were carrying an axe and a saw. It seemed slightly like a horror movie, but as you can see, I made it through the night and we were nice and warm because they could chop the logs. I then continued through Glen Banker and took a wrong turn around the River Calder and ended up walking an extra mile on the wrong side of a deer fence. Um, I continued through Newton Moor, went right up the back of Newton Moor to Loch Gynach, and then continued through Kingusi, Ruthen Barrack, the Inch Marshes, um, through Drumguish and Inverruglis and found it quite tricky to find a camping spot so I eventually camped just at the side of the River Feshe in a tiny beach where my tent just fitted in. I came right through the Moor of Feshe, up past Loch Gamma, Loch Neelan and then into Aviemore. It's been an absolutely fantastic trek. I would recommend you if you do get a chance to do it um, here's a few things to take with you. Take the book, take the map, take two compasses, make sure you've downloaded the route and you have it offline on your phone because there are some parts without any signal. Take plenty of warm clothes, it snowed every single day I was away. Plenty of food because there's very few places to get supplies and there weren't many people. So take some company with you. I took Hamish and Ted and they were great company as always. My tip would be, just get started. You never regret starting a route like this.